to a new video today you're only with Rowan and for something different I've decided to take out this new $100 kayak here with me that made its first appearance in the last video I put out so I bought that for a hundred bucks as a tender to use in the tinny for when we're doing our island camping adventures and what we're gonna do today is we're gonna hit the creeks behind us it's something I've quite wanted to do for a while and we're gonna cruise along with the mud crab hooks and see if we can find some mud crabs so we've timed it pretty nicely this afternoon I've just got the drone up in the sky having a bit of a look around to see what the water's doing the tide hasn't really drained out anywhere heaps like I sort of wanted it to this is a new area to me I've never actually been here before but we're gonna drop the kayak in the water cruise along and then we'll see what we can find on this low tide before we lose light <laughs> Okay, first proper voyage. Oh, I've just gone to sit down and I've put mud all where my backside's going to be, so that's a great start. But at the same time, what can you expect from mud crabbing? Okay, so. If you were me right now, would you go left or would you go right? I'm going to go left, deeper into the creek. this one here someone's left a someone's left a jig or fishing rig tied to the trees here and then they've caught themselves what looks like a silver coal that actually looks like a thready what is that no it looks like a silver catfish to me stuck on the tree and you can see where it's been eaten away by rubbing on the tree there it's pretty gross really so a little reminder not to leave fishing rigs in the water spots like this are ideal basically just want to look at places that no one else would get to Check that one on the way back. Right guys, so now that I'm on the water and I'm just spinning around in circles while I talk to you, you can see the river banks across on both sides here. And basically what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna paddle along and I'm gonna look for any openings inside the reeds and I'll explain it all as I go along. I've never been here before though and I've never caught mud crabs here in saying that so I don't know if they're around and what sort of numbers but I imagine they are. So I'll cruise along and I'll point out anything that I find and it's pretty much just me, the paddle and the crab hook. So we'll cruise through. My theory is that if I look in all the places that people basically can't reach. So if you can park a car that side, I'm going to look on this side where people wouldn't normally be able to cross to the other side and things like that, and we'll see if we can find some nice big mud crabs. Let's 
taking my time along here. Just looking very, very gently and easily because I've definitely spooked a lot of mud crabs in my time just by making noises and kicking water and things like that and you hear them scurry and drop into the water. So just gonna cruise along and hopefully there's at least one or two that are unsuspecting and we can get them. And I'm definitely at some stage gonna end up getting off the kayak to find them as well, so. Not seeing many holes yet along this bank, but part of that is also because there is so much water in this river still, they must have a fair bit of room to hide below the water surface. It's when it really drains out, creeks like this, that crabs have to find somewhere to hide. Water's starting to look a bit better. So something like this. This looks like a mud crab hole right here behind me. Well, in front of me, which will be awesome. So I'm gonna put the GoPro on my chest now. I did bring two, but I'm getting SD card errors on one. So I'm gonna put you guys on my chest and I'm gonna just have a poke around in this hole and see if we can find one. And if not, we'll keep moving and I'll keep it on my chest and keep the pace up before we lose too much light. Although I do have a head torch for when it gets dark, so. Definitely a, uh, definitely a hiding spot for a crab. Timber's seen better days. Doesn't sound like there's anything in that one. So we'll keep moving, but it's a good sign. Beautiful sunset at the moment. I'll just spin around and show you that one. But as beautiful as it is, we don't want it to disappear just yet. Because the light makes for a much better time. Filming at the very least. All right, so from here I can see a perfect example of a big, big mud crab hole. This is a textbook one. But these sort of ones can sometimes be too good to be true. I don't know if you guys are seeing it yet, but you'll see it as I come in. Nose to the front. This is just on the other side of the river. That is as good as a mud crab hole can get. But when they're that obvious, you'll often get people from boats and things be able to see them and come hook into them so we will try our luck still without a doubt I should have uh, I didn't bring a strap or anything for hooking up the kayak so that's my rookie error for the day. I'm gonna have to do. How am I gonna do this? I gotta stand up here. Alright, this is a perfect, perfect example of a mud crab hole. I 
poke around. Sounds like it's empty though. Looks empty. Sounds empty. Is empty, but that's what we're looking for, but probably to a lesser degree because if it's that obvious, it means someone's been there before us. Without doubt. Now I'm gonna get back in the car. Keep looking. Okay, we've just reached a fork in the river. I'm gonna to stick to the right because this will be the side that's got the least amount of traffic. As far as people coming along in vehicles and crab hooking, so we're gonna cruise through here, down this side now. Just keep a sharp eye out. There's a few bow waves and stuff getting around from fish cruising around. No signs of any mud crabs as of yet. Although I, I do like the look of the terrain, so. Keep looking. Okay, there's one example of a hole here. It doesn't look humongous, but sometimes they can be quite deceiving. So we're just gonna go up. Here, this is more my style coming in at equal height. Oh, that is a oh, that's got a crab. All right, so we're on, we're on for our first muddy here. That's 100% a good mud crab right here. What I've got to be careful of here is as I drag it out, it's a good one. It's going to aim for the water. So I've got to stop that from happening. This is a good muddy. It's good enough that it's jammed, jammed me up on the... Oh. Come on, Muddy. It's a good one. I'm very excited about this. Jeez, where'd it go? Just, just got a good hiding spot all of a sudden. No. Ah. There it is again. All right, there it is. These things can crawl like spiders, eh? Alright. I'm gonna pull my hook out, rinse it off, and try the other side of the hook. Reset. Alright, let's go. Come on, buddy. Come on. This one's, uh, I can feel what it's doing, it's clinging to the top of the hole. It's a big crab, I can feel it. It's good. Definitely a mud crab. I'm just gonna put my paddle up here. This can be a quite a long and lengthy process, so I can hear it, man. It's a good crab. Yes, come on. I can feel it crunching down on the crab hook. Oh. Away here. I'm gonna have to I have to time this so perfectly. Okay, I've got a bit of light going now. Come on, Krabby. Oh, it feels solid. It's got bit, definitely got a big claw on it, at least one. Whoa! Whoa! Jesus, this one is aggressive. <laughs> oh. Man, he grabbed that stick so hard then, like, fully snapped at it. Oh, come on, crab. 
All right, he's, that's in there. Fuck, he just dropped off back into the pool of water. All right, my GoPro keeps cutting in and out because of how long this is taking me with this one, but I'm adamant to get it. So I'll just press it as I know I'm drawing it back. Bear with me. Here's the crab, everyone. I'm going to get underneath him. Oh, Jesus. What a mission that was. Right, that's the big guy there. He's not my PB buck, but he's still a solid one. Nice big healthy claws on him. Check that one out there. We've got the sun setting there. Oh, that's a nice silhouette. So, I'm gonna chuck this guy into the bag. Right there. It's the end of his day. So now that we've lost light, I'm just going to focus on one side of the creek bed only. And then work my way back on the other side to make sure I'm really making the most of the light from my head torch. And have the best chance of finding another crab. But I'll admit I'm pretty happy with that one for a start. First time doing this, so... Something completely new to me, and so far it has worked. Right, guys, so looking right here, I'm going to zoom in in editing with my camera work here, and I'm going to show you right there is another mud crab chilling right there. So that's with my dive torch on it, that's with just my head torch. So We'll lose a little bit of light here as I try and collect it, but I'm going to do my best to show you guys and yeah, we'll see if we can get a second one in the bag. So it's very obvious that one. I know it's definitely in the hole because it's sitting right there doing nothing. So my aim now is to get the hook onto it without letting it run down this bank here and end up back in the water. Wish me luck. Right, first things first, I'm just going to open up the bag on the back here. So I can drop him straight in. I'm very sus on the fact that it hasn't moved yet. But sometimes crabs and fish and things are just weird like that. So I'm here making an absolute racket and he hasn't flinched a millimetre. So Oh, there he goes. All right, cool. It's a very nice looking crab too. So this one, guys, I can see perfectly in his hole. So he's literally got no, no getting away from me. I'm just gonna, a fish jump, little garfish jumped in my kayak before. See that one? Throw him away. All right, now let's get this crab out without letting him fall into the water and bite my leg. Bear with me here. So he's going to do everything he can to drop into the water to pull him out here. He's on a bit of a bad angle for me. So, oh, Jesus. My, my kayak's running away. Can't have that happen either. My one error I made that I won't make next time is bringing a strap. So, oh no. That's not good. All right, let's try to get this crab. I'm gonna try to get him on a better angle. I didn't like that angle. I need to be able to get a hand. I need to be able to get a hand behind him. So 
that's much better. Boom. Crab number two. Happy days, that one. So you guys can obviously see that one in the flesh. Oh. I've come right up the creek now, so I'm in the shallower end. I can stand up here. It still makes more sense to move, so I'll just give him a bit of a dip in the water. Bit of a clean there. Do that a couple more times, and I'll give you guys a bit better of a look. So, there he is. He's got one small claw, so he's obviously been in a bit of a hustle. I'll give him a proper clean later, and then here's the other one in the bag. They don't normally like this, but hopefully they just sort of chill out as I drop him in there. He might crunch a leg or two and then they just go relax. So. I'll shut the top. They'll settle down and we'll start our paddle back and see if we can find any more along the way. As you can see here, I've quite literally got fish jumping into my kayak it's just a little garfish that one but they get attracted to the light on the water and then they come spearing for all the insects and smaller fish on the water and then they end up in the kayak so it scares the uh scares the daylights out of me every now and then when it happens Alright guys, I've just made my way back to the ute now. I've climbed up the muddy riverbank. I've put the kayak back up on top of the car there. She's all strapped in and good to go. So I'll just give you a quick look at the crabs over here inside the bag. So two pretty good bucks there. One's got a smaller claw. It must have lost one at some stage and it's grown it back. So overall pretty happy with this one. Uh, it was a new spot for me tonight. I've never actually been here before and I almost thought that this video wasn't going to happen. I started making my way out to a spot that I really wanted to go and I had in the back of my mind. And as I got there, I forgot all about the rain that we had in Karatha last week and it actually muddied the track right up so I couldn't actually access it. I had to do a U-turn and I made my way back this way and I thought, all right, I'll just do a Hail Mary and see what I can do here. And it actually turned out pretty good. So. I had a really, really good time uh, on the kayak, obviously, $100 jobby, can't really go wrong with that. So it's doing its double purpose as a tender for the tinny, for when we do the island camping, and now I can obviously do little creek missions and stuff like that with it too. So overall, very, very happy. Uh, we got our two crabs, so I'm gonna cook them up for Eden and myself tomorrow night. I didn't wanna keep any more than that, uh, just because of the fact that I would have had to get four or five to then feed the rest of the family. Um, so I might try a new recipe tomorrow and if things go horribly wrong with it then it's only me and Eden that have to taste it and if it pays off well then the next time I go out I'll get five muddies and I'll cook them up for everybody else. So in all, really good time. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I know it's a bit hard especially um, with the GoPro to film in the dark and stuff and I don't personally like filming in the dark with the GoPros but I try to make the most of it hence why I'm shining a bright light on my face right now so you guys can see me. I'm going to make my way home now and catch up with Eden and I will see you guys in the next video.